Yeah, well, that too. I have complained quite a bit about it. I shared the complaints with certain things. I, I like I say, I'm a business person in part. Okay. <laughs> Man, this is just like the wrestling game with Undertaker against Undertaker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was weird. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, and here's the sad part. That actually did happen in wrestling at one point. Undertaker did face himself. Wow. Ow. How did that happen? They got another guy that's about the same height, same build, and, and had a great... pay to watch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a main event of a pay -per I like Yellow Scorpion there. Yeah, the, the other Scorpion was... I prefer the color contrast of that Scorpion. Really? Hmm. Final round. Fight. So so far no back breaking um Oh I just haven't done it yet. Quadriplegi in the moves. I mean, some of these kicks I mean, I can tell you some of these kicks are pretty like that kick, yeah. I, I actually used to use that kick. Yeah, that's, that's really legit. I mean really without really the legit. without the fire part. Just that and that yeah, they're what? Dope. You couldn't you, you could just, you know, stomp fire out of your legs? What's wrong with you? No, but I, I did the same thing with shoulders with that kick. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. You've seen the results, or at least you've heard from your instructors the results of it, even. Scorpion My reputation precedes me. It made me very happy to hear. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no one happened. Oh, you didn't hear it from him? Oh, um, Yes, each yes. character. Okay, yeah. yes, you're Kanan, and also known as Known. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that downward round kick, that 45 degree round kick, if yeah. you ever want a good move to hit somebody with, aim it and aim for here. Right in the triangle? Oh, just right here in the neck. It's so. a, when you do that, oh, it's so fun. I didn't, you didn't hear from me. Round well, no. It's on the air end now. Nope, that, yeah, well, I can't believe everything you hear. On, yes, I did. Everything you hear, read, or is this true? For all y'all know, I'm not even here. That being said, you do not exist. No, um, I mean, I'm not existence. Body of I think existence is completely relative to the situation. And there were times when we existed, and then at this current moment, we are not in existence. Um, what wow. you're merely seeing is a. a yeah, it kind of is. Too deep for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think if that's my phone, that's not my Quinchy. Quinchy, you're first. <laughs> oh. I can't, I can't take credit for that. That's, that's that's my mother's joke. She made that joke when that character first came out. Came out. Round two. Did you ever uh, pull off a friendship oh, I'm a on Mortal Kombat back in the day? Oh yeah, friendships? Yeah, friendships. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I love friendships. Friendships were great. Bay Valleys were cool too. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anybody said. Those were awesome. Yeah, those were awesome because it basically it was basically midway uh, extending a a gargantuan uh, frothing and pulsating middle finger to the ESRB. And in particular one very, very specific lady. Mm-hmm. But we all know who that is. Oh, well that's good to know. <laughs> Wait, he's a he's a what? He's a combined. Oh, he is a combined. Okay. Of mankind's I thought you said. I, at first, I thought it was a concubine. I was like, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> I, I certainly didn't get that memo. So I know how you feel. Yeah. Scorpion. So I I know. I think everybody now knows my current obsession, uh, audio wise right now is that Welcome to Night Vale. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been listening to it. It's the right type of weird and mm -hmm. also pseudo deep. Just don't go into the fandom. I it's, I've been I've been told about the fandom just, already. Just, yeah, the no. other day uh, Megan told come? me about the fandom and I was like, I yeah, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Also because I don't think I agree with some of the ideas. I think some of the ideas like I think I really do think Cecil is a disembodied voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I don't think his body is real. I think he has a projection. But I think he's just nothing more than a disembodied voice. So Seth, I, I did play the first two episodes for Seth and Nathan the other night. Mm -hmm. And so Seth, what do you think of it? <laughs> Don't look at the dog part. Don't look at him. Yep. Round two. 
Yep. Or else you'll be picked up by the sheriff's secret police. Oh, <laughs> uh, the hell the glow cloud. <laughs> See, I like the idea of Night Veil. Vale. For some reason, I don't like the execution. Oh, I and, love it. It's very, and, very cool. And, and I, I try to listen to it while I work. I can't because I want to pay attention to whatever is happening in the background while I'm trying to concentrate on the foreground, and I can't do it. I'm like a very one-track mind no, no. I do not understand what Mr. Mind has said. So, win. no, that's just two Vs. Never. That's two Vs, not a W. Never. No, no. Never. 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 Um, see, so the reason I like it is it's like a paranormal sci-fi version of Stop Prairie me. Home Companion. Yeah. So instead of Welcome you. to Lake Wobegun, um, it's, I will uh, you, apart. you know, Welcome to Night Vale. And I, I really enjoy that aspect of it and I I'm glad that somebody's doing it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. I I'm enjoying it greatly, but I'm but I think even if you don't enjoy it you should I think most people would be happy that it's yeah, been yeah. done. It is it, it is a thing that definitely merges the yeah. yeah. Because the I would love I think there's some room for some really good crossover storytelling mm -hmm. uh, using that model to yeah. develop the world. Yeah yeah um, via podcast. And then, you know, some of the books that have full stories in them and also you know, other media. I'm not going to give away all my business that's, idea that I have for it that, now. That's how uh, uh, the comic book industry in Mexico used to work in the, in the 60s and 70s. Again, this is so fascinating to me. So I love hearing this stuff because you know this stuff. So I know mm -hmm. little pieces mm -hmm. about things like this. Okay. Do you, have you ever heard of a, a comic book character named Calman? Yes. 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 So, I don't need to explain it. Yeah. Well, maybe okay. I do. Uh, for, for yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. And uh, Kaliman, uh, Kaliman is, was basically uh, the, this, these pulp stories about this superhero who derived his powers from meditation and, uh, and uh, physical body training. The idea behind Kaliman was uh, this... Arab, European, Mexican mixture of a, of a guy who was like muscle bound, but was always dressed up in a in a in a white leotard and a white turban with a gigantic jewel that set came on. Oh, and he would wait, go, wait, 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 wrong guy. Okay. I was thinking of cauliflower. No, no, I, I'm, I'm kidding. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> I had to make the joke. Oh, oh, okay. It's a joke. I didn't ah, get it. Oh, ah, cauliflower. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> You slayed <laughs> You slayed You finished it. Fatality. Fatality. Wins. I win. Clown, clown loses. I don't know. Okay. Um, go on. So basically this guy uh, would go in and adventures to like, uh, it would be very Indiana Jonesy in, in the way that uh, he would go after like uh, the legend of the lost treasure of the pharaoh or the mysterious jungles of, of India. With a with a sidekick, with, with, with a little kid who was a sidekick, the and at first, uh, uh, Kaliman stories were a radio drama. Yes, they were a radio drama, and then they they started morphing into comic books, and then uh, uh, actual paper uh, books. And I think it, they, there was a movie made about the character, but I'm not so sure I've yet to find it. But the the radio drama, the the Kaliman radio drama was. Incredibly well done because there was so much production going into it because every character had uh, uh, their own voice. Uh, they had uh, special effects. They had everything. They had music. I want to say that was a very same cultural uh, superhero because every time, like he could do a John Carter kind of thing and project himself in the astral plane, meditating. Round two. Interesting. Fight. Um, okay. I will. Um, I will look in that. Um, is this Dollar Galaxy? Yeah. Yeah, similar, I, don't, I don't know either. I, similar I, thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll check it out. I'm all for that. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, so basically when I started looking into uh, the Welcome Night Mail, I was reminded of, of Kaliman so much because it, it basically mirrored the way the stories were delivered. First of all, it was a radio drama, then it was written stuff, and then it was a black and white comic book. 
Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely will check it out. Yeah. There's still a galaxy. Oh, you're leaving? All right. All right. Bye, Josh. Thanks for coming by, man. Everybody say bye to Josh. Bye, Josh. Bye, Josh. Bye, Josh. Bye, Josh. And <laughs> upon upon Josh's leaving, upon Josh's leaving, I ask that everybody try to donate to this great cause of extra life. Please, please. Wait, what? Save the not, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you you should donate. I mean, you it's, you it's a great thing. Be. It's yeah. nice. We're not Jesus. trying to pressure you in any okay. way. Or charity <laughs> chain you like South Park does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah. The this season has been one of the best. All right, Josh. See you later. South Park this season. They've been killing. Don't it tell me over. I'm going to watch it. Okay. At, in probably in December. Probably when the class is over. Oh my God. When did it get so freaking cold outside? Uh, uh, by Joe's. November. Not. Definitely. But I have no extra life to give. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Get, uh, you you can spare one of your extra uh, one one of your. Uh, extra lives for the children. Yes, for the children. It, I mean, seriously, it you, you can spare one of your one up, one up, one of your one ups or your extra guys. Yeah, Come and on. they only cost. I mean, you could do as little as a dollar and yeah, be entered yeah. to win a delightful well, game. Well, maybe not just a dollar because you have you know, taxes and such. Five bucks, you can spare. You can spare a Starbucks coffee for the children. Don't be greedy. Don't be stingy. Don't get and don't guilt trip the person sitting next to you. Which is true. Okay, I, I will. I, Starbucks is love, Starbucks is life. Okay, fine. Without coffee, Devin become angry. And you don't like it. I, I, I don't want to see you angry. That being said, I don't know exactly what this occurred, but Larry Williamson has donated $10. Oh! Yay! 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 Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are kicking cancer in the ass, gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, oh, this isn't for cancer, but okay. <laughs> I mean, it's for kids. No, and we're not kicking kids. Oh, no, no. I was going to say, I was like, I know where you're going. No, no, <laughs> no. That would be quite kind of productive because. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, then they end I mean, up in the. You do get them to a hospital when somebody kicks them. So. Yeah, but, you know. I, let's, let's okay, this is going into a place that should not. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thanks, kid. <laughs> Don't guilt trip the only one watching. <laughs> no, please. No, sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. It, was, it wasn't meant to, uh, to guilt trip the audience. Just, no, no. no, no, my Starbucks coffee. I, yeah, no, this, <laughs> this is sacred. Yeah. Everybody knows in the morning I don't truly function at work until I have my iced coffee. No. All about tissue so that's, that's me and, and, and three Reese's Cups. I, wait, there, I function today? When? Being able to crouch underneath this wire is a good thing. I know, and that's the thing that's really impressed me is my back's been doing so much better. I've been able to crouch under the wire. That is nice. That is good to know. Yep. I, and nothing has popped on me, and I haven't gotten lightheaded and almost fall, fallen over again. Especially after last week. We All about were, kicking uh, bad health, and health is spelled without an A. So, so Health? Health? Health. <laughs> kind of like Heffel. Heffel. Yeah. Heffel. <laughs> I'll take that spelling. If, if that spelling comes with money, I will, I will take it. Absolutely. That spelling comes Cancer kids, same deal. <laughs> It's the power of game. I agree. You know, this is one of the few things where I actually say... It is. It is. This is actually something where no one can say, oh, mm -hmm. gaming horrible, gaming bad and evil. This we is a... a lot of good things out there. Uh, see, yeah. Uh, because uh, uh, basically gaming as a whole, where whether it's video gaming or tabletop gaming, yep. we make it to a point in which, in, in, in which uh, we are willing to give our time and resources in order to... Uh, put something back into the world. Yep. Which is something you, you cannot say for other types of cash lines. It's going to be awesome games done quick. It's going to be a shock. Wow. Uh, yeah, awesome games done quick. Something I can never participate in as we've seen today. Because quick and me. Yeah. I can do awesome games done slow. Done <laughs> slow. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. 
Are you dead? Yeah, uh, okay. As soon as it says finish it, you're done. Uh -huh.